Can you just tell us the story behind the first single of this album? I mean, I don't know. Like the, to me, that when I heard the verse that you'd done on this song, it seemed it was like super compelling. Like you know, like one of those uh, flash moments where you're like, uh, I was like, well, we should definitely build a body of work around this. Um, well, thank you. Uh, the the thing that's kind of weird and hard to describe sometimes is the way that Pete and I write because because um, he's predominantly the lyricist and I'm predominantly the music the composer I guess I don't know um, but there is a lot of interlock in terms of the way that that we what we do with each other's stuff what we you know what he how he adjusts my music and how I adjust his lyrics and uh, one of the things that was really interesting about the lyrics that became this song was there were um, going through this record, getting into this record, we went through everything, everything un lyrically unused, because there were a lot of, one of the things, I don't want to make this too long, but one of the things that was weird, again, that kind of hindsight thing, is that there were a lot of lyrics that, um, that you had written that, you know, over the years that I kind of ignored because of whatever arrogance or whatever, you know, even, it could be something as simple as the day he sent it, I was angry, so I didn't read it or whatever. So going back through, <laughs> but going back through those, finding there were there were all these themes and all these ideas and it was almost this collage of a lot of our older ideas and then um, this like kind of this fire in a lot of his new lyrics and it all just kind of came together and it was this um, this kind of song I, I guess about um, I guess to me when I when I read the kind of finished piece it said to me that kind of theory that you have when you're an adult, which is a different one than you have when you're a teenager, because when you're a teenager, you can say things like these permanent things like, you know, I hope you choke and I hope you die and all these other things. When you're an adult, the people that you said that to when you were a teenager are still around and you still have to interact with, and that's like, and you have to figure out how to deal with that, and that's like permanent, and you just always have to, that's the rest of your life is gonna be, hey, I'm seething with anger and I just have to, hi, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and so to me, there's, that's a lot of what that song is when I read it is like, is like it's it's so much of that anger, but compressed into the smile that you have to have as a as a gentleman, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I feel like yeah, I feel like there's, there's something to be like, like when you do take account of your life, it's like sometimes it's all right to like just burn it, raise it, and start fresh, you know. Like I think that that, you know, like f for me, it's happened a couple times, and it's been like a healthy thing, you know. It's been like you know, I feel like better as a person. I feel like re-energized. And then, like, the song itself, I remember, like, when I was playing it for my, I played it for a couple people, I played it for my brother, and he was like, this sounds like 80s metal, but, like, in a club now. <laughs> and, like, you know, we played it for 2 chains. I played it for 2 chains, and he was like, how do you, like, make those sounds? And I was like, it's kind of interesting because it's, like, the great, one of the greatest things, I think, that we had, one of the, the things that was really on our side when, when we take, took the time off is that, that three years, like, I feel like with Spotify and YouTube and whatever, you know, like, I think that, Kids like songs now, you know, and it's like, it's kind of Rather like, made, just genres. it's made genres kind of like go away a little bit yeah. at least, you know, like where kids are like, I like Skrillex and then I like Metallica and Gym Class Heroes. Um, so I think that this, that, that my song's kind of like, I can't really like place what genre it's in. It just, I know, and, and I know it's definitely one of those Which songs. Which was also an important thing coming, totally. coming back for and us. I think people have like real visceral reactions to it where it's like, I love it, I don't love it, you know, but it's like nothing in between.